Okay, it's April 22nd. Four days ago I started these radish seeds in a Ziploc. And I'm gonna transplant these outside. And I plant them along the outside edge of these containers. Gonna harvest some lettuce. Got one of these bus boxes with just a whole bunch of holes drilled in it. It's like a giant colander. For the lettuce, I harvest just the bottom leaves. I leave the central part and it'll regrow. So I take my giant colander bus box, put it inside the bottom bus box. And all the dirt flows through the holes, ends up in the bottom. These are beet greens. This is a Xylus salad spinner. It's got a little pull handle. And it removes the water from the vegetables. Then I take a basil leaf. I chop up some of the beet stems. I like to add a little bit of either Bubby sauerkraut or this kimchi. You can get this at Walmart. It's like a natural probiotic. It's fermented cabbage. With the kimchi, I chop it up into little strips. This is half a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. And then one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I water between 6 and 7 p.m. almost every day with my rain water. The water was coming out way too slow in this tiny little faucet, so I was able to find one of these on eBay for $14. I hand water and use about one or two of these per bed. So I set up this trail camera to view the little garden area because I know I'm going to have a problem with animals and I'm taking these tomato cages and it kind of makes a little barrier and it actually is effective, it stops the deer from walking in there, but there's a pretty good chance that they're going to just totally munch this up.
I weed the beds about once a week. It takes about 20 minutes or so. This bed has a carpet of these weird weeds. So I use this garden tool and I scrape the weeds and it kills them all in one shot. Hello everybody, it's May 4th. Do the garden layout video. We've got super sugar snap peas, early wonder tall top, beets, red sail lettuce, black seeded Simpson lettuce, and this is like a checkerboard. It's got intertwined green and red lettuce. This lettuce is a hybrid from last year's seed that I saved. It's a cross between red sail and black seeded Simpson. It's got just a little twinge of red. And then here's another one that's a cross breed. This one has kind of rounded leaves. It's got a little more red to it. And then down here, got kale, collards, rattlesnake pole beans. These are cucumbers, a libi. This is the corn plants. I actually messed up. I should have planted peppers here and the corn here. The corn is going to end up shading out the cucumbers. Got more kale, collards, and pole beans. And then in the back of these beds, this is large red cherry, large red cherry, sun sugar, cherry tomato. This is Cupid grape tomatoes. And then this bed and this bed are the same. The middle row is giant Marconi pepper. Front row is California Wonder. California Wonder stays shorter, so the giant Marconi will still get sun. And then this bed is the sweet banana peppers, and I've got some radishes around the edge. Up here in the hex bed, got two beets in the front. This is a cayenne hot pepper, serrano hot pepper. This is sweet basil. Got two radishes. This is sun sugar cherry tomato. The cherry tomatoes are doing good so far. We haven't much, had much rain, and I think that has a lot to do with growing tomatoes. You want it nice and dry. If it rains a lot, you'll get blight. And then up here by the garage, got cayenne hot pepper, serrano hot pepper, and then these three are Roma tomatoes.